everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mr. Shines and welcome. So for today we're going to make tomato soup. I did start filming and then realised that the video, uh, the tomatoes that I was going to, fresh tomatoes I was going to use are rotten and off. So I'd already put these in a pan that are okay. These ones were bought yesterday but the, the, um, the Aldi ones were off so they're in the food bin. So you need, you can use uh, fresh tomatoes if you want. You could just use tin, two tins of these but I'm going to make batch and cook it. Two tins of these. Um, some spring onion if you're sensitive to onion like me. If you're not, you could use normal onion. Red onion actually works best, I think. Uh, two stock cubes. I use callow because they're gluten-free. And you need to make sure that they're not low salt because low salt ones are crap. They just don't give any flavor. Tomato puree of your choice. Salt and pepper. It can be any. Pinch of them. And cream or alternative milk. I don't have cream because I used it all last night, so I'm using that. So what you want to do is you want to take these elastic bandy things off. And if you're low FODMAP like me, or, well, I'm not really sticking to the low FODMAP um, diet as such um, anymore, but I have cut out onion and garlic um, out of my diet and, uh, yeah. So what you want to do is you want to cut all the way to about here, the white bit. So actually, I'm just going to just now cut that bit off so that it's out the way. Um, you can, some people do fry before they make the soup. I, I, I personally don't because it's getting boiled. So. so we're going to chop this up. So if you hear a... Uh, steaming or sizzling away. I've got veg steaming away in the back for another meal, but that's not getting filmed. So let's chop this. And if you're not sensitive to garlic, you could use garlic, which is what I would have used. I might put a smidge of garlic oil in because I'm okay with that. just going to place that in the pan now the tomatoes that I used were I'll show you a very, this, you get yellow ones sometimes it's like that so these ones don't need to really be chopped because they're so small they're like mainly salad potatoes no salad um not potatoes eh, tomatoes so yeah, and then it's just dead simple. And it's this is like this is like my version of if you're gluten free and you've been craving Heinz tomato soup. I craved it for years. Couldn't find anything that was uh, even similar out of a tin. I found this weird weird um, tomato soup that was in a can, but it wasn't the same. It had all the peps in, it just didn't do it for me. I, it was in the gluten-free section uh, for a while, these weird soups. And um, I know that um, somebody else I used to speak to that's gluten-free, they loved it. But for me, it was just, you know, no, it did not taste like Heinz at all. So I craved that, so... And you're going to need to put water in to the height. What are these in date? Yeah, the, yeah, 2025. Tin tomatoes are good as well for a lot of foods. Sauces, everything, they're really good and they don't go off for ages and you can store them for ages. I'm not using any set measurements. Um, just make sure that you bung it all together. But if you want to have, if you're only making like one, if you only want to make it for yourself for one or two meals, just use two tins, that'll be enough. And you don't add the extra tomatoes that I added, but I like them because they give it a little bit of sweetness, I think. And then we're going to put a dollop of that in. Now, teenagers can spend a lot of time on their phones, but researchers say there's a serious lack of information 
into high social interactions through apps like Snapchat and TikTok can impact feelings of loneliness among so, be careful when you're squeezing this out because I've done it many times where I've squeezed too hard and it's all gone out of here, doing, doing everywhere and it's really annoying. And then we're going to put... <coughs> now we're done that. Just going to put a bit of this and this in. With the salt I wouldn't put very much in because you're already putting a salty stock cube in. So with the pepper I put quite a bit in. I just love it and if you want to add flavour, experiment, put whatever you want. If you want to make your soup a bit healthier, you could add red pepper. I have done that once and it was quite nice, but I don't always do it. Probably about that much salt because you're already putting stock in. And then we're going to put the two stock cubes in. The cream we're not going to put in. You can put the cream in now if you'd like. But the problem with putting the cream in now is that it means that when you put the soup away, it won't last as long because the milk uh, or the cream will make the soup uh, perishable. So if you put the soup, if you put the almond milk in, like and mix it with the soup in the bowl that you're having your thing in, then that will do. So now I'm just going to put some water in just to cover it. The Generation Scotland project is open now and will help shed some light. So that's how much water you want in it. Then you want to stir it. So we're going to stir it through here. Little tripods moving about. And don't worry if it looks a bit watery just now, it will definitely go down and it will thicken and if it doesn't thicken you could add a teaspoon of corn flour in but make sure you mix that corn flour really well so I would say put a teaspoon of corn flour and then mix it with a fork and make sure you get all the lumps out but don't worry actually if there's a wee tiny bit of lumps because we'll be sieving at the end anyway and all those lumps will be gone so we're going to wait till that boils and once it's boiled we're going to leave it on for about 20-25 minutes on high heat so, so now it's boiled, it is boiled and sieved, well it's boiled, we've sieved it, we've put it in the blender and we've added the milk now, I wasn't going to add the milk now, I thought I'd add it a bit later, but I'm actually going to eat the rest of it tomorrow, but if you want to preserve it, and it is looking a bit thin, but it should thicken, if not add some t teaspoons of, um, add, add a teaspoon of, um, of um, corn flour so yeah so that's it so I will plate it up and I'll show you it plated up then that will be the end of the video thank you for watching hit the like and subscribe button and share and love you and leave you you will, you will just see um, a picture of it in a minute so thank you bye